Hello, I'm Ellen Burke. And I'm Ethan Burke. Today we're going to be reviewing our Santa Barbara mission, mission project. project. The mission was founded by a Roman Catholic priest named Fermin Francisc Francisco de Lawson. The mission is also 203 years old and is it is known as the Queen of Missions. Okay. So outside we have the fountain, palm trees, and bushes. And of course the twin bell tower. We have some bees. And in the beginning there's a gift shop where you can buy like prizes and gems. There's a touch table in case you want to feel the stuff that is at the mission. Inside of here, we have the entrance to the courtyard. There's chairs. Inside of here is a... Inside of here is the room where the Indians ate. Through the courtyard, you can see the museum. The book Island of the Blue Dolphins features Karana, the Aleuts, and the White Men. This is accurate because she was found on the island with her dog and others. Sadly, she passed away and rests at this mission. The mission was partially destroyed in, in December 1812. The Indians made adobe tiles, shoes, and woolen garments. They grew, grew apples, squash, citrus fruits, tomatoes, and cherries. The animals in the mission were cattle, horses, sheep, goats, and mules. So here's a touch table for the stuff and the island of the blue dolphins and the Indians. Here's the wolf skin and the house that she most likely used. It's a nice little house. So here are some plates and the pottery. And then here are some tools that the Indians made for farming, hunting, shopping, and mining. So here are some pictures. Here's the courtyard again. Right through here is the church. Where there are lots of seats and paintings. So you would sit down and then learn. Right through here is the courtyard where there are gravestones and special memorials for the people who died at this mission. Yeah. Here is the big tree in the middle. There are more statues. Up there are the houses on top of the mission. And then, right before the Molosseum, we are going to do the rest of our facts. They also grew and ate maize, wheat, beans, vegetables, and also ate meat. The animals in the mission, and the, the Chumash and Padres lived at the mission from 1781 to 1834. It is the 10th mission that was founded. 4,000 Chumash Indians are currently buried in the mission. 
So through the Colosseum, there are lots of paintings and memorials for the people. And uh, when I take a quick down view, Ethan is going to tell us the rest of our facts. The Spanish called the Chumash Barbarino it is, and it is close to the sea. All right. That ends our mission project of the Santa Barbara mission. We hope you enjoyed and goodbye.